So, I know somebody's gonna complain about the lighting. Sorry, it's winter here and I haven't got any better lights. Now and again, I get sent stuff. And typically there's a purpose to it. There'll be, you know, can you test this for us, see if it works as something or other. Now and again, I get sent stuff and I'm not expecting it at all. This is a Blackmagic Design eGPU. Do I have anything to test this with? I probably do, the Mac Mini. Now, oddly enough, people have been asking about the eGPU on the Mac Mini, so maybe this is an opportunity for that. Now I'm guessing that in the next few days, I'm gonna find out why I've been sent this. Let's start this off then looking at the benchmarks because I will say that this unit benchmarks really well. Let's have a look at the figures here. We've got our Geekbench 4 benchmarks in both OpenCL and Metal. And then on the right hand side, we've got the benchmarks from Heaven. You'll also see that I've run the same tests on the Intel internal graphics chip as well as on the eGPU. Now, if we have a look at that, you'll see that the eGPU has offered a massive performance increase you know, well in excess of 400% for both OpenCL and Metal. It's not quite as high improvement for the Heaven benchmarks, but it's still pretty impressive from a benchmark point of view. So let's have a look at some of the other machines because I do have various machines here. So let's look at some of their benchmarks. So what we have here, for example, is a comparison against the iMac Pro. So what we'll see on the iMac Pro is that the, the Vega in the Pro is a little bit quicker than the eGPU. So it's 18% uh, faster in, in CL, 25% in Metal. It's not a massive amount, but it gives you an idea of what the performance comparison is. So what about with the MacBook Pro? So this MacBook Pro is the 2018 i9. So it's got the Radeon Pro 560 in it. So you can see that the Intel scores are pretty similar to what's in the Mac Mini, but the Radeon Pro 560 is about half the performance of the eGPU, which is kind of what you'd expect. Now, what is interesting, by the way, is if we look at the Surface Book 2 figures, there you go. So you can see it's not quite as fast as a Surface Book 2 for uh, OpenCL. But what's interesting is the Heaven scores are far less than the eGPU, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I did run it a few times. One quick comment I will make about the Surface Book 2, by the way, is we were talking about fan noise from the uh, Mac Mini. Well, if you're interested in that, you should hear the fans on the Surface Book 2. Wow, they are loud. Anyway, so that's what it looks like from a benchmarks perspective. If you want a copy of this spreadsheet, I'll leave a link to it down in the description so you can have a look at it there and, and you know make your own conclusions from that. Let's have a look and see what it actually looks like when you're running that Heaven benchmark. So what we have here is the Heaven benchmark running. So on the left hand side, you'll see it running from the eGPU. And on the right hand side, you'll see it running from the Intel internal graphics chip. Now I filmed this using my Sony camera facing my Dell 4K monitor. It was filmed in 1080p, but uh, 60 frames per second. So don't take the quality too seriously, but perhaps look at the, the animation and see how smooth it is. It is far, far better on the eGPU. So that might give you some indication of how much better it will be for things like gaming. Benchmarks are all very well, but they don't give you a, a real world insight into how you're actually working. I mean, that, that heaven benchmark is pretty good because at least you can see the effect of what it's doing. But, but what about things like Final Cut Pro? Well, let's start with looking at project exporting because some of those can take quite a while. So I've got quite a complex project here. I've got multiple layers. They're all 1080p streams all at about 100 megabits i think so what we're going to do is export this but i'm going to export it twice i'll do it with the intel on the right of the screen and the eGPU on the left and we can have a look and, and see whether the performance is better with the eGPU. okay let's get this project exported now what i'm going to do before we do the export is just delete all the generated project files just so we're starting at the same point for both tests there we go i'm now going to export this project Let's see how long it takes. So even with that small project, the export time was cut down from eight minutes and 10 seconds to six minutes and 10 seconds, which is 
pretty impressive. Now, I've tested it repeatedly on, on various other projects, and what I find is the more complex the project, the more time you're going to save on exporting, which kind of makes sense. So the other thing I just want to look at here, so we're, we're looking at Final Cut Pro here. This is the, the benchmark video that I did uh, a little while ago that we looked at earlier. We don't have the eGPU plugged in, and obviously this is quite hard for me to record, but even playing this back in real time, I'm getting drop frames. It's uh, The performance is a little bit clunky. And I will say that actually even editing it, you, you can feel the, the machine working pretty hard trying to do it. It's not a terrible experience. Although I have to say, I think if I was editing all the time on this machine, I would find it uh, a little bit frustrating. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on the video properly or not. So let's get the eGPU plugged in and I'll try and show you how much better it looks with that. Right, so we're looking at the same thing now, but this time I have the eGPU plugged in. You can see here on the activity monitor down there, we've got the Intel UHD as well as the AMD Radeon Pro 580. And immediately you can feel that scrubbing through the timeline is so much easier. It just feels so much simpler to use. There's no lag behind it at all. Same with the playback. If I play back this project like that, now again, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up on the video, but I don't appear to be getting any drop frames. It seems a lot uh, smoother in actual production as well. The conclusion for this is a little bit of an interesting one because my hopes for this device weren't particularly high. I was impressed by the benchmarks, but then I, I couldn't see any real uses for it. Now, having used it in Final Cut Pro and, and seen the effect on the export times and also the general editing, if you wanted to get one of these Mac Minis and to use it for video-based stuff, then it works pretty well. Now there are other things you can use the eGPU for, for example, so if you look on, let's have a look at our parallel setup, for example, which I use a lot as a virtualization, you do have the option there to prefer the external GPU. Now, parallels do say that you can use the GPU in your virtual machine. The only thing I will say is I've not managed to get it to work. It doesn't seem to make any difference to the performance of the video actually within the virtual machine. So even if I run benchmarks and things like that, it doesn't seem to make any difference. So there may be some use cases that are still a bit of a challenge, but if you want a Mac Mini, if you want to use it for video or perhaps gaming, then I think your only option is to go for an eGPU. The question is whether the Blackmagic is the right one for you. Well, it's not upgradable for a start, but it is very much plug and play. I can't help feeling that the use cases for it though, still not quite there, it doesn't always seem to work in every application, sometimes it's still using the internal one, even selecting it for parallels, like I just said, it doesn't seem to work within there. It could be that I'm, I've not done that correctly and there may be some stuff that I need to do to, to get that working properly, but I'll have another look at that. Anyway, I don't really have much of a conclusion for you, but hopefully the benchmarks and some of the run-through will, will show you what to expect if you should buy one of these.